idea of forcing his mother to live with such guilt. Because of this, Ryan began plotting to murder her. In a video filmed days before the month's end, he walked through the steps using a GoPro. He even discreetly approaches Barbara with a gun to mime what he was going to do. This was just one instance of many, as Ryan struggled to pull the trigger. That is, until March 31st, 2020. On that day, his 64-year-old mother was focused on playing the piano. Ryan realized this was the perfect opportunity, as she would be too distracted to notice what he was doing. He retrieved 22 caliber handgun and sat on the front steps. He loaded and... It's a similar, like, Daniel Patrick. ...and unloaded the firearm for 15 minutes, before deciding to follow through. Ryan then walked inside, held the gun to the back of his mother's head, and fired. Barbara died immediately, collapsing to the floor. It was only then that everything began to set in. Ryan proceeded to write a final journal entry expressing remorse. It apologizes to his mother and sister before a drug... Kind of similar to fake remorse that came all his Hollywood career. There's a lot of media of me out there. Film and TV. Hundreds of hours of me that can be viewed and dissected. No one will understand. Then, Ryan used the GoPro to video. In this form long re recording, he documents the crime scene before confessing, I just killed my mom. I shot the only person who loved me in the back of the head. He then looked at the camera in the mirror to state, You thought you were so tough? Afterward, Ryan strangely attempted to relax. He left home to withdraw cash before purchasing beer and marijuana. Upon returning, he spent the next three hours watching Netflix. He'd spend one last night in the home, covering his mother's corpse in a blanket before going to bed. The next morning, he printed out directions to Trudeau's cottage in Ottawa. Ryan loaded his car with three guns, ammunition, a dozen Molotovs, and camping supplies. Before leaving, he lit candles around Barbara's body and hung a rosary over the piano. I would never hurt my family, so I would not allow to do that, so I can't drive to the, the car license. And with that, the once child actor... And then David Gershon, he doesn't do the drive. ...began driving. East. It was at this point that Ryan's sister Lisa became concerned for her family. Neither her brother nor mother were returning any phone calls or messages. Because of this, she decided to visit the townhome, only to discover a crime scene. She then found a note left by Ryan confessing to what he had done. Law enforcement quickly initiated a homicide investigation, inquiring the public for information. Ryan wouldn't make it far into his trip. It was infeasible, as the distance required two days straight of driving. Because of this, upon reaching Hope, B.C., he turned around. For a brief moment, he considered attacking the two other locations he scouted. But instead, he drove to the police headquarters in East Vancouver to turn himself in. He approached an officer sitting in a police car before bluntly stating, I killed my mother. Ryan was arrested and immediately charged with first-degree murder. They searched his vehicle, discovering the journal and videotape confessions. He pled guilty just a year later, accepting a deal that lowered it to the second degree. During the sentencing hearings, Ryan's lawyer argued that he deserved a leniency. The defense reasoned that the killing was not done out of hatred or animosity so he was of lesser risk to the public. They also pointed to his mental health issues, a lack of criminal record, and willingness to turn himself in. Under psychiatric evaluation, he was diagnosed with cannabis use disorder and depression. Ryan would receive counseling in prison to address his emotional and psychological issues. This made him optimistic that if released, he would continue on the path of bettering himself. In June of 2022, oh, yeah. he and formally apologized video, to the court. Uh, I cannot explain or just the right tank force. Instead of it's going, to, it's going to be. Um, well, my actions. I have no excuse. It hurts me to think about how badly I've wasted my life. In the face of something so horrible, saying sorry seems so pointless. But from every fiber of my being, I am sorry. His sister, however, was unconvinced. Lisa remained adamant that her brother was a danger to society and that the murder had devastated her life and career. 
In a victim impact statement, she told the court, How can I trust anybody when my only sibling chose to execute my mom when her back was turned? On September 20th, 2022, Ryan was sentenced to life imprisonment. He will remain there for at least the next 14 years when he becomes eligible for parole. While it's unknown exactly what the future holds, his lawyer has since expressed concern. Eight days after the decision, Chris Johnson spoke to news outlets in fear of his client's safety. He stated that because Ryan looked like a 17-year-old, he was at greater risk of being assaulted. As of the time of writing, it remains to be seen if he's successful. So there you have the story of the downfall of an aspiring actor. Yeah. Yeah. That is.